Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the EC After Effects Studio model for today's second video. We're going to six weeks ahead with the EC Excel. It's looking at mean cell pressure, 500 millibar height on the temperature and precipitation anomalies for the next six weeks. It will get us into the early part of August and uh, I should get something back for you in a moment. The focus on the UK and Ireland. This is what you do with a wider European outlook using this extended EC After Effects model. Um, uh, the wider European outlook using this model as well as on a Tuesday. So I'll get on back for you in a, in a second. Just say that the first video today was our 6 a.m. upload. Got weekend forecast coming up for you in a bit. And that was worth 10 to 14 down as well. So please like, share, subscribe on all of the videos. Thank you so much, everyone, uh, for doing that. Thank you so much to ECMDF.INT for supplying the charts. That's amazing, incredible. Thank you so much for doing that. And we'll crack on, shall we? And have a look. A reminder that all forecasts beyond five, seven days comes with big health warnings and pictures of salt attached. So it's just a snapshot of what this one is showing today. It could look completely different when we look at it again on Tuesday. Okay then, so let's have a look at week one mean cell pressure anomaly. will take us from the 27th of June to the 4th of July. The coming week or next week looks unsettled with uh, low pressure across northern and uh, western parts of, uh, of Europe and out into North Atlantic as well. Jetson coming through something a little bit like that. The 500 millibar height anomaly for uh, week one. Again, looks unsettled with a trough of below average heights across the west of Europe, a dip in the jet stream uh, as well. Two ridges, one on the east side of Europe and one in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Temperature anomalies are forecast to be cool and average, actually, for most parts of the UK. It's still warm and average just towards the east coast, but most parts of West Europe actually looking quite cool, especially the further west you go. And it looks a little bit on the unsettled side as well, especially for more western regions with above average precipitation, near normal to above average rainfall in weekend. Ireland looking particularly wet. Right, week two will take us from the uh, 4th to the 11th of July. A ridge of above average heights then begins to extend back in from the Azores High into West Europe. Jet stream beginning to move northwards uh, as well. So this implies that things will be starting to settle down a little bit. Uh, the 500 millibar height only also showing this area of above average heights building in from the Atlantic into West Europe with the below average heights, low pressure and the jet stream away to uh, the north. The week two temperature, not only from the 4th to the 11th of July, goes a little bit above average. Not a particularly big deviation, but, you know, we're around a degree above average also. So a rather milder than average week coming up. And the week two precipitation anomaly looks drier than normal as well for the UK and Ireland and out into the Atlantic once more. So that's a warmer and drier week. Right, week three is going to be the 11th through to the 18th of July. How's it looking? All going rather mysterious now. So high pressure pulling back towards the Azores, seemingly. Uh, low pressure up towards Green Iceland, so probably implying some sort of westerly flow. But it is a weak season. Let's have a look at 500 millibar heights. Only that doesn't shed much light either. The above average heights again pulls out into the uh, Atlantic. Um, there's no particularly evident trough of low, but I would suspect there's got to be some low somewhere, so maybe implying the jet stream in coming back southwards again, possibly uh, a rather more unsettled week. The temperature normally is around to slightly above average, not a particularly big deviation. Not looking that exciting, and the precipitation anomaly. It's a very weak signal, but if anything, it's still perhaps hinting at being a little bit on the drier side, maybe. Week four will take us from the 18th to the 25th of July. How does this one uh, look? Again, there's not much to work with. There's some low pressure in the Atlantic. Um, hint lows in the mare, but they're not going to be doing much. So I'm just putting a couple of question marks, I think, because it's not evident, really, what's happening there from a VCL pressure anomaly perspective. Uh, 500 millibar height on looks interesting though. Above average heights appearing over and to the east of the country and that will pull wind up from the south. So if that came off, this is high summer of course, uh, into the third week of July. If that came off, that would bring some real heat potentially uh, up the western side of Europe, I would have thought. Uh, 
This is a hotter week. Look at that. Temperature on the go is significantly warmer, not just the UK, but through most parts of Europe. This could be real high summer this week if this comes on. Remember, it's four weeks away. It's the 18th, 25th of July. It's a long way off. Um, but if it comes off, this could be real, real heat, you know, uh, real heat this week. And the uh, precipitation anomaly, very weak signal, but as you expect, with high pressure dominating, probably uh, drier than, than uh, normal. Uh, week 5 will be the 25th of July to the 1st of August. Um, again, very weak, so a little bit of high pressure just to our north, though. Low pressure down to our south. Winds may be coming in from an easterly direction. Now, let's have a look at 500 millibar heights and only placing a nice area of high pressure above average heights right over the top of the country. This could be a very, very warm, dry, hot second half to July if this comes off. The temperature anomaly is still very significantly above average widely across Europe and the UK and Ireland being included in that. And uh, a weak signal, but week five is forecast to be driving on, as you expect, with high pressure in control. And then finally, go through week six, which is the first to the 8th of August. This is how it looks. And look at that. High pressure continues to dominate the weather. An extended spell of high pressure domination setting up in the second half of July, lasting... This will be a little bit surprising, I think, for some people, because most people expect August to be in the doldrums, but lasting into the first week of August. Above average heights also sitting over the UK, slap bang over the top of the UK and Ireland too. Another hot week would be likely. So this is a very extended period of hot weather setting up for the second half of July into early August. And precipitation on is finally looking a little bit on the driving average side, but it is a weak signal. Wow, wow, wow. What about that then, everyone? I bet when we got to week six, that first week of August, you was thinking it was going to flick to low pressure, wasn't you? That's what I thought would happen. So I haven't seen me charts, you know, before I record a video. So, um, interesting, interesting, interesting. Mix through the next uh, two or three weeks. So, um, we've got more sort of mixed weather to go. Uh, it looks like the middle of July is when things begin to ramp up two or three gears with this summer, if this is right. And um, maybe we're going to finish up with a hot summer in the end. We'll have to wait and see. It's all speculative, you know. The most interesting charts are like uh, week four, five, and six. So, in the X-ray, which is much more unreliable than like uh, weeks one and two. Um, no, I wouldn't get that carried away with it, that excited, but maybe, maybe, maybe we're going to set up a hot summer here. Uh, you know, we've had it pretty warm so far this year. Well, at the moment, we're on-off. We're in an on-off sort of pattern where warmth is coming and going in spurs between um, cooler, cooler and more unsettled weather. Uh, and it looks like that will carry on into early July as well. But beyond that, maybe, maybe, maybe this summer is going to go up two or three gears and, uh, and and we might finish up, you know, with a, quite a hot, quite a hot time of it later on uh, in in July and possibly last into August. We'll see. You know, it's all speculation. It's all just a fun. It could look completely different uh, next week. But quite an interesting update from the EC Extended uh, this week. Right, we're going to be back shortly with weekend forecast. If that wasn't enough, I'll have a 10 14 day for you too. So keep checking back to the channel for more. But for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.